Hello, and thank you so very much for joining me tonight. I go by Luna Neat, and as many of you know, I'm presently not at home. I'm kind of without a home, not homeless, but kind of without a home right now, as in I'm staying at uh, some family members' home in Delray Beach right now, and we're looking for a house to rent, you know? So I'm very privileged that I have family who has this place and my little family was able to come and stay here while we explore and house hunt and just kind of acclimate a little to Florida because New York and Florida are very different. So, you know, just bear with me. I'm, I'm not a, I'm not set up. <laughs> uh, but I wanted to create a little video for you guys. I do have plan to make a inner child uh, healing, working with inner child video uh, for you guys soon, probably come out next week, early next week, but I wasn't able to record it because I want to, I want to put effort into that one and I've been on vacation last week, really using air quotes because of course I was working a little bit, but I was really trying to like detach, focus on family, focus on what I'm trying to manifest in the house and all this and just be very present in my family life if, if you can relate. So this video is a little casual and I do have one coming out soon this week on Wednesday uh, with another YouTuber that I did a collaboration with while I was in northern Florida more or near Orlando. I don't know if you call it northern. Uh, I'm from what I, as a New Yorker, would call South Jersey, but when I lived in South Jersey, I would have called it Central Jersey, so if you know what I mean, things are sometimes different. But anyway, let's get into this. Let me, sorry for the lengthy introduction, but the video that we're going to do today has a theme inspired by a couple of cards that I pulled over on Instagram TV, or whatever, Instagram TV, IGTV. If you follow me over there, you may have seen it, there's nothing special, <laughs> but we pulled a few cards and something that came up was for the collective, so if this resonates with you, there's, we might be, some of us may be in a kind of feeling limited, feeling controlled, feeling perhaps that either our resources or even our physical body is in some kind of like I don't want to say jeopardy, but in some kind of, um, it's not where we want it to be and it seems like it's a challenge or a struggle or we feel like we're on some kind of journey that is never ending or we can't quite see the resolution, we can't quite see the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. And what came out of that reading was that there is a a strength in us that we haven't tapped into yet. There's a strength in us that we may presently see as a weakness or presently see as something that needs to be overcome. If I can use an example, I've started a few businesses in my life and I change things very quickly <laughs> and I've been called flighty and I've been called um, called out for like not sticking to projects and stuff and hearing that and like identifying with it like being like yeah I do change my mind a lot or I do move on to the next thing a lot and I saw it as a weakness because of the way it was kind of brought out and of course it could be both right but now I see that as a strength of mine I know when it's time to cut it and move on and that can be a strength and we should indulge that you know of course, discernment, of course, every situation calls for something different. You know, we have to use our minds and not just react out of impulse or pattern. But, you know, let's not hate on ourselves for the things that we might see as weaknesses when in fact, excuse me, these are most likely a very unique strength. So the theme of our little mini, 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 mini session today is to bring that all right, so we're going to start with our candle. I'm going to be using a very limited amount of tools because like I said, I'm not home. <laughs> but I have a candle from Trader Joe's. I love these lit lidded candles because you can bring them with you.
break. I have my matches over here somewhere. Actually, I'm going to use this little altar cloth right in front of you here. Hope I'm in focus. If you saw my Instagram video, you'll know all about this. <laughs> okay. Which way is north? Give me a sack. <laughs> the sun rises here, that's the east, so. Real, real, you know? Okay. Next. Incense matches. These have been very loud lately. What's up with them? These ones are just popping. I wonder if it's the humidity here. this little shell that I got off the beach in Costa Rica and I do feel like we shouldn't take tons of stuff from the beach but I did pick up a little trash that day and I really only took this one because I thought it was a perfect little <laughs> little holder for these cute little incense matches <laughs> so I'm just gonna use this start clearing the space a little around you, around your etheric farm. And I'm going to put this over here because it is a little wobbly. Alright, so we're going to set our intention, of course, on behalf of your, and my, and everyone else's highest and greatest good, and perfect comfort and alignment. We wish to provide or channel some energy, receive an energetic session as well, to help us to identify what is it that we are needing to bring to the light more, to give a little credit to ourselves. What is this strength? What is this hidden or um, mis, uh, misclassified kind of aspect of ourselves? Because it is the key for many of us right now. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. It is the key for many of us right now to release limitations, to come out of some kind of funk, some kind of uh, uh, I can't funk, it's like a funk it seems and in that card reading excuse me, it was revealed that when we do, when we do embrace we can we will be shown a new door or a stepping stone or the direction that will lead us to fulfillment, 
to this development of self. This was a very self-centered, <laughs> in a you know, self-themed kind of session or um, reading, rather, excuse me. I'd like as well to encourage you guys to um, do a little research if you're open to it. You can look up perhaps your 12th house in astrology, find out what sign resides in your 12th house. Are there any planets there? Sometimes there are some things hidden about us in our 12th house. Or alternatively, or in conjunction with, you can check out what your south node is and look there for, um, you know, your, your skills. <laughs> some skills that we may have kind of been called to move away from, but it's never all about moving away. It's about merging together the north and south qualities. All right, I do have some astrology themed videos if you'd like to check those out. But let's keep going here. All right, so I'm gonna use the selenite wand. It's like a itty, itty bitty wand that one of you sent me. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Names are not my thing right now. <laughs> I'm so sorry, but I appreciate it. She's a true little cutie patootie that I'd love to take with me. This is a peach selenite, and I'm just gonna comb through your aura. If you'd like to see, maybe I can It's a kind of beautiful peachy glow. I'm just gonna comb through. And I'm just gonna use the screen here because I can't really get up and walk around you, but I'm visualizing your form. You're going all around it. Coming down your body. Clearing anything that has been imposed, anything that has been clouding or misguided or again miscatalogued into a weakness when it, it actually is a strength. Well, it's always a little both, isn't it? Gonna focus on your third eye. Support the aha, uh -huh, the innate mind to bring it to the surface, to use it as a tool to support you. I'm seeing like I'm doing this figure eight, and it was almost like I could see the figure eight, and there was like a rainbow here and here, almost like an image had been twisted on one side perspective, a bit of the hangman energy. And I'm going to focus now as well to channel through these kind of activations, so sorry for the noise. Okay. I'm getting like a Merlin vibe from some of you. in the north and I'm actually gonna scoop the fire to the south here put this in the east
the Florida water. So I like to go in front and behind, up and below, and left and right, like the directions of consciousness. crystal to use for this. It was a gift from, and it's a funny story, which is on my Instagram, so I'm not going to repeat it, but uh, so it's a gift, you know, and I just want to give a special shout out and I will tag the individual below because he makes tons of videos of him digging up amazing treasures and rocks and stuff and it's just him. So thank you so much, John. I truly treasure this. It's one of the very few pieces that I brought with me on my trip and I haven't worked with it like officially officially yet I'm kind of like courting it <laughs> uh, those of you who really love crystals probably know what I mean but I want to use it very soon for this manifestation but I'm waiting for the moon to be in Taurus for that so this is a gorgeous golden healer quartz Tons of activations in here. It feels like it's so pure. I'll show you guys. He peeps. <laughs> I've been kind of growing my natural nails a little bit make some better taps. I used to get them done very temporarily and I just don't like getting them done. Like I don't like going to get them done. But yeah, this has an awesome story with it so let me see if I can focus for you. Beautiful, right? So we're going to use this as a channeling tool as well, but I am going to bring you back because I'm just don't trust the focus there. I'm just going to connect. And I do want to work with this with not just the solar plexus and our our ego, you know, ego gets such a bad rap, it gets such a, uh, you know, as if it's bad or something, but like, we need it, like we're here, we're here on earth, we're meant to engage in the earth realm, and yes, I do believe we're meant to kind of transcend it, or at least have the ability to transcend it, but we also have to just be human too, and live our lives and play the part, you know, like that's why we're here, so, you know, again with everything back and forth but i want to work with this with the solar plexus as i said for this kind of higher activation and i think the word i'm looking for is comfort and a bit of courage to look at some things that perhaps we didn't celebrate within ourselves and bring those to the forefront for some type of problem solving that might be uh, necessary or required at this time for many of us Excuse me, just I feel uh, like an angelic energy Like behind me It feels like two And by angelic I mean uh, Similar to what I would call like ascended master energy if I can put it that way Guides, higher guides Alright so I'm just going to focus first on your, the front of your head here. 
just like pouring this golden elixir down through and it spreads and moves and um, multiplies like it's so much more than it looks like kind of thing Make sure I'm bridging it all the way down to the solar plexus. I'll just hold my hand here for a second. We see an image of the tarot card, the star. It's kind of perfection. Focus around the eye area, kind of cleansing to enhance inner vision, we could say, but also uh, to just bring more clarity here, more help with problem solving, more support of the the mental plane, if I can put it that way. I do want to just pull one card just to support I don't know what it's called I wasn't planning on it at all just asking for the message to come through for whomever it is meant for it might be a great deal of many people. <laughs> it might be one too. But I just want to honor the inclination. Okay. So we have the princess of one. And this seems to me like excitement. There's almost a seductive nature, isn't there? <laughs> excitement. A lot, um, you know, maybe seduction is part of it in some way, you know? I'm not trying to <laughs> say we should use our powers for, you know, inappropriate reasons, but maybe there's something of the universe to, to seduce in some way, if I may say so. And eagerness and excitement to get out there and do it and use the skills. I will say seduction is a bit more of an immature, we could say, way of working with it. But maybe the higher path is being more in tune with our sensuality. So I don't know if that comes up for some of you. Perhaps it means using some, excuse me, kind of magic in your practice, something like that. We'll just take it for what it is, right? Oh, I do have something better to make noise with. My dad's girlfriend made this for me. She sewed a little moon on it. <laughs> she sewed the whole thing, but she wrote loon over here. 
I have the little crystal holder for travel. Kind of like you put your jewelry in, but for stones. Now we're just going to channel a little bit, a little bit extra, and include in our intention whatever you may need, you know, of course, in alignment with your own personal free will, your higher self, your higher intelligences. Um, sorry, something just popped in my head with the, the Princess of Wands. It might be, it just felt like something related to food as well. I don't know just kind of came in like tempting with food or aroma or something kind of savory or like that we indulge in I'll just leave that there but back to our intention wherever anyone might need a little energy boost whether this original topic resonates with you or it doesn't right but for those of you who does we'll reconfirm the intention is to assist with bringing to the surface an awareness of something that of course has two sides of course like everything else in our life has two components and two ways for us to work with it so <laughs> let's allow the duality to be comprehended to be understood and then to be utilized how we see fit of course my encouragement is to take the higher road but higher path I mean but you know it's up to you it's your path I've taken the low road sometimes you know <laughs> right I'm just gonna connect with my heart I'm seeing some kind of like very very casual kind of priestess vibe right. sending intention to channel to the collective to anyone who may be open to receiving Almost like I want to collect it like cotton candy and just send it to you. Or like there's static in the air. Good static. Energy static. Send you these big puffs of it. These big clouds to assist with activating and all of that. I'm seeing like an image of like a sword in its, in its sheath, you know, it's like we have this sword, we have this ability. Yes, the sword can be used to hurt people, but it can also make us a damn sandwich or something, I don't know, or it can uh, hold the field or provide security or represent an element, you know, there's so much that can be done with everything, these are all tools within us, we choose how we use them, you know, so... Use the 
fire a little, kind of direct it into your solar plexus area. Get this little fire burning. Okay. That seems pretty. Good to me. <laughs> Sorry, I feel like I have to burp a little. Maybe it's just gonna come out later. <laughs> okay. I want to say thank you so much to those of you in the Patreon community. You really are amazing, <laughs> especially for your grace, considering I've just been so hectic. And you know, I feel like I've been keeping up with everything for the most part, but you know, your patience is just and support and just like the well wishes and everyone else as well. This is a weird time in my life and I'm just so grateful for that support and to have a reason to create other types of videos, you know, deeper teachings or other topics or just connect and create some space for us to come together and share some things or, or whatever. It's a true honor and I'm so grateful for it. And yeah, it's just so much love to you. Thank you so very much. I'm incredibly honored. I have not mentioned this very much, but I did write a book. And I feel like I should start mentioning this kind of stuff in the beginning, but honestly, I just forget. I promise my intention is not to wait till you're relaxed to tell you these things. Um, but I did write a book with a co-author, my friend Araminta. And uh, it's available in pre-order on Amazon. It's about crystals and manifesting and chakras and stuff if you're into it. So I have to keep putting that out there. I keep forgetting. But again, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, none of this could be possible without you. So just thank you so much. From the bottom of my heart, as always, namaste.